Hello everyone, my name is Adam and welcome back to Plip Plop. All right, you all saw the title of the video. You already know what's going on today. We have some more Choosing Beggars content for you. So let's just go ahead and get started. Can you make Selfie Tilmit from Kingdom Hearts? Sorry, just saw this. I believe I certainly could. I'd take commissions if you'd like to make one. A demand of Selfie Tilmit from Kingdom Hearts, hugging King from the Owl House as without payment. Uh, I see. Unfortunately, that's not a commission. If you change your mind, these are my commission prices. Are you wanting 50 for both? Only one is left, Brilliant Diamond. $50 for it because it's unopened. Would you be interested in a trade for a new karaoke Bluetooth speaker unopened? Mmm, no thank you. Okay, well, then you think you must think the game is gold when you turn down a hundred bucks speaker, like wow. I'm just not interested in a speaker, that's all. Hopefully you can find a better trade then if it's worth twice my asking price. I'm trying to figure out, you said you got double, so it's not like you're using it, so I just don't use the speaker, but game will be more, it will be for my son, but at price you asking anyways, I can go to GameStop and get fit and 40 new even, so I'll just do that again, good day, and stop messaging me. A contact left the group. This post is for everyone that has asked for help for the big Christmas drive. Whether you've been matched yet or not, please pay attention to this. The donors are regular, everyday people. They aren't corporate sponsors, big business owners, etc. When you've put your list, I asked you to keep the need slash want under $25. I did that for a reason. These people are being very generous with their time and money, but they don't have a lot themselves. Please keep that in mind, and if the sponsoring families contact you asking for more information, keep your want slash need still in that criteria, and be grateful for what you get. Because you give a list, they do what they can. But if you don't get everything on the list, please be understanding and still grateful for what you do get. I have had sponsoring families come to me that families have asked for help, are asking for things that are way beyond the criteria that I posted. Make sure the things you are asking for are true needs and small and reasonable want slash wish. Thank you. Hmm, people taking advantage of a donation service? Shocking. My name is Nadia, and I absolutely love your custom Air Force Ones. I was wondering if you'd be interested in sending me a pair for free in exchange for promotion of your products and brand on my social media account. I would absolutely love to promote your product. I've gotten 1,000 to 7,000 views on some unboxing videos and over 900 likes on those videos as well. Let me know what you decide. I can give you my shipping information and contact info if needed. I look forward to hearing back from you. Sincerely, Nadia. Yeah, I don't give out $180 shoes for free, and I also have more likes and followers than you on TikTok, so your answer is no. I was really excited to pick up a slice for National Cheese Pizza Day today, and unfortunately experienced an awful customer service experience. I was turned away for being short 30 cents on one cheese slice of pizza. 30 cents. This is 7% of the total cost. As an alternative, I told them I was a food blogger on Instagram and would post the slice on my page. Mind you, I have over 10,000 followers and restaurants frequently ask me to come in and try their pizza for free in exchange for a post. When the cashier returned from speaking with her manager, she said no discount. It's a shame they could not see the value in what I had to offer and disappointing because now they have forever lost a potential customer. Never going back to try their pizza. Not worth it. What a sad, sad tale that was. I need comic writers for my superhero script. Note, this is not a paid job. Yep, that sounds about right, doesn't it? Dear Santa Claus, I want you to bring me a bicycle, a fairy tale book, a nice wagon, a pony, and Surrey. Please bring me a little dog named Bob, and a horn and drum. I don't want anything if I can't get what I want. Your friend, Wilmer B., third grade. Really starting off young with the Choosing Beggar lifestyle, Wilmer. Hi, I'm looking for a room to rent. Yes, I know this is a dating site. I'm looking for friends and also for someone that is serious to date if that happens. I'm new to Georgia, so I don't know many people from here. I'm an esthetician, so if you need some waxing or a massage, I'm your lady. Come see me at the Pink Locus in Athens. Now for this, you must have a job, some money, a place to live, a car, etc. If you want my attention, do something to stand out to me. What would our first date look like? Dear Santa, 
So I'm guessing you picked up this letter and wondering, is this going to be like all the letters asking for things? The answer, well, no, it is not. I'm not here to ask you for something of my own. This year I was asking for coming deep from my heart. You see along this letter, you probably see my brother's as well. He's asking for iTunes cards. I think that's a good gift for him, but honestly, there's something more he'd like. There's a computer he wanted a while back due to the price our parents couldn't get it for him. Watching him get turned down made me sad. I want out of my way to try to save money for his computer. Unfortunately, the computer is $6,189 and I only managed 200. So my reason for writing this letter is for $6,000 in Visa cards. I know I could have actually asked for the letter in the in this letter for the computer itself, but I want to contribute my $200 to the cost. My mom can use her credit card when I trade my Vita cards in for save with her. It would make me really happy to give a Christmas where I'm going to give rather than getting. Thank you for reading my letter and hope you have a wonderful holiday season, even though I wrote this in November, LOL. Sincerely, Elizabeth. Okay, this is actually kind of nice because let's give it the benefit of the doubt that kids really have no concept of money. So knowing that 6,000 might be a little steep for a parent, it's just very heartwarming to see her try to help her brother out. So I'm gonna give this one a stamp of approval here. To whom it may concern, dear valued vendors, wishes your family and friends the happiest of holidays. We have thoroughly enjoyed partnering together th throughout the year. We'll be celebrating the holidays with our staff on December 17th, 2021. We would like to take this opportunity to request the participation of our valued vendors in contributing gifts to assist us with celebrating our dedicated staff members. All items slash gifts donated will be accepted gratefully, but as a guide, we've listed a few items below for reference. Gift cards, preferably over $100, Alexa Echo, iPad, Ring Camera, Apple Watch, AirPods, Roomba, TVs, MacBook. We sincerely appreciate your participation in celebrating the holidays with our valued staff and look forward to continuing business with you in the new year. Sincerely, a couple different colored blocks. Would you accept 15? 20 altogether with shipping. No, sorry, 18 plus shipping. What's $3? <laughs> Pass. Bye. You're an idiot. Okay. Bad review from me. Because you wanted it cheaper and I said no? My husband got a guitar for Christmas and would love someone in Wellington area just to give him a few free playing sessions together to teach him something. I googled free lessons near me and nothing free came up. And what was free was all online. Doesn't the world offer just people teaching each other how to do stuff nowadays out of meeting new friends to hang out with? Hope this makes sense. So guys, guess what? There's no food in the house and my mom said she's not buying food because the house is dirty and and until it's clean, she won't buy anything. Parent of the year, am I right? I've barely eaten anything in the last few days and I feel exhausted because of it and she wants me to clean the house on an empty stomach. The house isn't even that dirty. There's just dishes in the sink and poop around the house because of my brother's dog. I also love the fact that my brother is going out with his girlfriend and he's getting food out of it and my mom isn't even going to stop him. You'd think she'd stopping me from eating, she'd stop him too. So why is she stopping me from eating? Love this for me. How old are you now? I'm not being a smartass, I actually want to know. I'll be 23 in a month or so. And yes, I have a job, just no money until next paycheck. Leave. I'm working on that. I can't just get out and leave without a plan. You're 23 and you're living at home? You aren't buying your own groceries? Your mom is offering to buy you groceries if you clean the shared living space? I'm confused here. Are you trying to get people to be, feel bad for you? This is the most entitled bratty thing I think I've ever read and anyone else who reads it will leave it significantly dumber. Do your mom a favor and move out. I'm looking for a free small breed female puppy slash young that is possibly house trained and crate trained. I cannot handle a large breed or medium breed dog. They will pull and tug on me and they walk me, but a small breed dog would be perfect fit for me. I want a companion small breed dog that can be my friend and I have anxiety and depression, and my doctor said a dog would be perfect for me as I have a companion dog. The last people would comment mean and rude comments that did mess with my anxiety and depression really bad, so please this time no rude or mean comments. I do not drive, so you would have to meet me in Black Smudge. I'm located in Black Smudge. Thanks so much. I have dog food for the dog. Yeah, I never really understood the free dog thing. Like, do you really think, other than someone who just had a massive litter and is literally just trying to get them, get rid of them, like a free, specified small dog is just not gonna happen. Three white and brushed silver adjustable height bar stools. Like new, $300 for all three. Important, please read. One, I'd rather throw them out than negotiate on price. Two, 
If you email me to negotiate, I will sell them for your negotiated price to someone else. 3. If you agree to pick them up and show up with less than 300, I will burn them in front of you. <laughs> this person is clearly just black pilled on choosing beggar offers, so gotta love it. All right, I think we'll end it on that one, everyone. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like or letting us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoy these types of videos in general, please consider subscribing. It really helps out. Thanks again for sticking around and we'll see you in the next one.